Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am in San Francisco and I am on my way to the Bite Beauty Lab. This is where I get to create two lip colors. I am so excited for this, you guys. I, I can't wait. Um, I'm sorry if it's a bit loud right now. We're staying at a hotel. Like I think we're on Union Square. It's kind of downtown. There might be some honking in the background. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys along with me to the Bite Beauty Lab. We're gonna mix the colors, mix the pigments. I'm so excited. I can't wait. It feels like Willy Wonka, but for makeup lovers. So yeah. That's what we're doing today. Let's go ahead and get ready. I came this close to putting on lipstick, but then I realized it's kind of pointless to put on a lipstick because I'm probably gonna be like swatching a lot of them, I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've been walking about a half an hour uphill to get to Bite Beauty, and I'm just at the store now. I think I might go ahead and scream sanctuary when I go in. I may be crawling on my hands and knees when I go inside. I'm so exhausted. but it has less pigment. started I was like making all these lipsticks and trying all these colors and then then you're like I tried everything so you start <laughs> making like the magical mermaid blues and the army greens and yeah so I start doing all those fun colors this kind of feels like going to Willy Wonka's factory but for like makeup lovers that is crazy that's the first time I heard that but it's true yeah I definitely say it's Disneyland, Disneyland. for, for yeah. lipstick yeah it's Disneyland I mean, either one is fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm always going to write down the formula. Thank you. 
lipstick slide out easily when they're done. When I see them, they look so so they're a little cold. Oh, great. They came off perfect. Sometimes the metal sticks to lips a little bit because it's like cold. because it was on an anti but Hey guys, I am back from my appointment with Bite Beauty. I have my bag here and I am wearing one of the lipsticks that we made. This was an amazing experience. Honestly, if you are a makeup lover, if you are like a makeup freak, it's like it's so so worth it. There were two options to choose from. There was I took the most the most expensive one, shocking I know, um, because you got to pick two lipsticks. The more expensive, like the less expensive one, yeah, the words are hard. The less expensive one, you only got to pick one lipstick and you didn't get like extras, like I'll show you what I got. But yeah, I just wanted to get like the real, the whole shebang because honestly, I don't see myself doing this like every time I'm in San Francisco. It's not like a once in a lifetime thing, but it's also not a thing that I'm gonna do that often. So I just kind of figured I might as well just go for like the full experience. Honestly, it was amazing. Um, Angela was amazing. She was so nice. I'm going to put her Instagram in the description box. If you guys are in San Francisco, if you are in the Bay Area and you go to Bite Beauty, go see Angela. She was so amazing. She was so patient and like, just like, just fun. And like all the girls there were really fun. Like I was chatting with like some of the other girls there. I don't, I didn't get their names, but like, I don't know. Like if you are a makeup lover, makeup freak, it's like, it's really like Disneyland for makeup lovers or like, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but like for makeup, it's it's honestly amazing. So you guys saw the clips of like how it's made, how it's done. Uh, I'm gonna show you like what I got. So the full service is like an hour and a half, I think. And we made, well, like Angela made the actual like product. Um, but this is what I have here. So here is the Bite Beauty bag. And then we also have the paper here, like the um, tissue paper is actual lipstick which I think is just like perfect. Here it says the description of the lip product itself, like the formula or the recipe. So if I want to have either one of these lipsticks remade, I can actually just go to a Bite Beauty or order one online and just give them the recipe so they can make it again. So this is the box that comes with the lipsticks here. It's like this little box here. This look like um, little like late Valentine's, you know, like Valentine's Day gifts. So here you have the box with the two lipsticks here. I feel bad tearing the paper, but. There we go. And then these are the two lipsticks that we made. Well, I say we, but like she made it. It was so much fun just like picking the colors and which tones I wanted and the scent as well. I didn't realize I could also pick out what scent I wanted and also the finish, obviously. And yeah, the whole process was so much fun. Um, I would highly recommend it. So these are the two that I got here. I got two finishes. I got one that's sheer and one that is satin, I think, yeah. So it says sheer, but it's not actually sheer because it's a lipstick. It's not like a gloss. It's just like a very light lipstick, I guess. So that one is called Effortless. I really just wanted um, just like a really simple everyday kind of lip color that I wouldn't have to worry about, kind of just like slap it on. So that's why I called it Effortless. So let me just do a swatch here. That is Effortless and that is the sheer finish. So as you can see, it says sheer finish, but it's a lipstick. I think when I thought sheer finish, I thought it was gonna be like a lip gloss, but it's not. Oh, and also these have a magnetic click here. I love that. Isn't that the most satisfying thing? Yeah. And then this one here is called Barbados. This is the satin finish. And this is a warm tone, orangey red. Shocking, I know. 
that is this one here they're still a little bit wet the product itself um just from being made but i think once they're like properly set the finish will be a little bit different i just think that the barbados one will be just a little bit more opaque at least that's what it was like when i tried it in store i called it barbados because it reminded me of like like this is what i'm wearing oh yeah good youtuber this is what i'm wearing today like this is the lipstick here this is barbados um it just reminded me of like the sunset in barbados when it's like orange and like purple very beautiful totally up my alley what else is there to say um yeah you get to choose the name i think choosing the name was the most stressful part because i mean that was the only one where you had to like come up with it yourself everything else like you had to choose like you had like multiple choice i guess whereas this one is like fill in the blanks and you're like uh lipstick a and b i'm sure you could do that if you wanted to these are the lipsticks from bite beauty this whole um afternoon was just so much fun and delightful i know i've said it so many times in this video but like honestly it's so worth it it's so much fun it is expensive like i got the bespoke treatment or bespoke appointment because there's two like i mentioned and i got the one that was more expensive that one is called bespoke um it was 150 us plus tax so like not cheap um but i think it's worth it it's not a thing i'm gonna do that often so i just think for the experience for a makeup lover i think it's worth it and then since i got that package uh or like that yeah that blah, blah. and since i had the bespoke lip treatment lip service i also got a little kit here of other bite beauty products So I got a lip scrub. I think this is full size. It looks full sized. Um, this is the whipped cherry. I don't think I got to pick the scent of the exfoliator, but like, it's fine. Um, this is the lip scrub here. It smells nice. It smells like cherries. And then both. So I've never tried the lip scrub from Bite, but I've tried both the lip mask and I think this is a lip primer. Um, the Agave lip mask I think is fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's one of the best lip masks, in my opinion, out on the market right now. And this is a lip primer, lip filler. So you put this on your lips before you put on your lipstick just to help like fill in all the little cracks and crevices on your lip. This is what it looks like. It kind of feels a little bit waxy. And yeah. Let's see if it'll zoom in. Not really. Anyway. So I kind of feel like I'm talking in circles right now, but honestly, I highly recommend this uh, experience to any makeup lover. This would be a great like birthday gift, holiday, um, even like bridal party. Like if you're not the type of person who wants to go and like get crazy, if you wanna do that, like with your girlfriends, that would be a lot of fun. Um, I think like I'm a very outgoing person, so I have no problem making friends everywhere I go. So I like was very friendly with everyone at the counter and like made friends with people. But I think if you're more shy, maybe you want to bring your friend with you because maybe it can be a bit intimidating to go on your own. Um, I kind of knew exactly what I wanted before I even went. I brought references with me. I brought some of my lipsticks from home that I liked as a reference. Like I want something like this, but a little bit more warm tone, a little bit more cool toned. So I was fine on my own, but if you're more shy, if you're not so sure, maybe bring a friend. It could be, I, I can honestly understand how it can be intimidating because it is like, it's a big deal. I don't know. But yeah, I'm so happy that I went. I highly recommend it to anyone who is even thinking about this. If you have not heard of this, um, you should try it out, the Bite Beauty Lab. So there are only four like labs right now. There's Toronto. I think Toronto is like the head office, which I've never been to. Um, but there's one in Toronto. There's one in San Francisco. There's one in Los Angeles and then New York. I think that's, those are the only four right now. So if you have access to any of those, I think it's so much fun. Um, I'm not really sure what is included in the other, um, price package, the one that's like less expensive. I think it's half the price. Um, all I remember is that you only get to choose one lipstick. You can only, only like mix one and you don't get like the extras. You don't get the lip scrub, lip mask, lip primer. So if you like feel like you don't need those, then like you can do whatever you want. For me, I just felt like I wanted like the works. I want like the whole shebang. 
and uh, yeah I'm very excited I it was great honestly you guys know me I love makeup this is the best um yeah I don't know what else to say it was amazing I think you should try it it's great fantastic fun amazing Angela was so much fun everyone was so much fun it was a great experience. I cannot talk about it enough. To wrap up this video, even though I've said this a million times and I'm really just like talking in circles, the whole experience is amazing. It's fun. I think it's worth every single penny. Um, I think you should definitely give it a try. I think this is like, if you are a makeup lover, this is fantastic. And if you are someone who has like, if you ever had a lipstick that you absolutely loved and then it got discontinued and you can't find it anywhere, you could bring that and like have them recreate it. Just saying. If you live near places that offer the Bite Beauty Lab, give it a try. It's so worth it. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. And since I'll be in San Francisco for the next few weeks, I will be doing more San Francisco themed vlogs, videos, etc. So yeah. That's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.